Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your girl Mitzi, and this is Mitzi Thinking. And this is episode 68, talking about gossiping. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, nobody really likes gossipers. You know, nobody likes those chismosas that always has to say something about someone else's life. Let's be honest, nobody likes those type of people around in their circle because they are exasperating and draining, and it makes you feel like you can't even be yourself because they are constantly judging and constantly waiting and constantly assuming and predicting and you know they don't even give people the benefit of the doubt because they rather believe the truth that they want to believe or they just rather not give another person the benefit of the doubt to even explain their story and I feel like that's the bad thing about gossip is because that's when I feel like gossiping is wrong. Like you need to give somebody an opportunity to defend themselves and you need to not be able to just assume for the worst or assume wherever your perspective is at because it's not fair. You know, you may be hurting somebody. You may be destroying somebody inside. You know, it it sucks because you can't control people's perception of you and you can't control how people perceive you and you can't control how people talk about you. You could only really control yourself. And one thing I realized about gossiping is that if you are being gossiped a lot, then you really just have to know who you are in yourself to not let that bother you. You know, good or bad, whatever the the gossip is, I feel like knowing who you are is very important because you will be able to not care as much or you will be entertained by what people are saying about you you know or it will not even phase you you don't even feel like you would have to defend yourself because I feel like I'm at that point where I don't have to defend myself to nobody because at the end of the day however you choose to perceive is on you not me you know I mean I'm doing my best to live my life I made me mistakes I, I know I have my own sins but at the end of the day who is anybody else to judge if they have no sins either you know everyone has sins so until you can say you are perfect perfect sin free life then sh- shut up <laughs> so let's just go right into gossiping let me just define what it is so Per the dictionary.com. No, it was Merriam Webster. I apologize. Per Merriam Webster, definition of gossip is a person who habitually reveals personal or sensual facts about others. It's like a rumor or reports of an intimate nature spreading gossip about like a divorce or an abuse or, you know, like a fight or, you know, things like that or just making things up just to make it seem more interesting because that's the problem I feel like people talk out of the necessary because they want to seem more interesting or they just want to seem more knowledgeable you know I've realized that a lot of people who gossip they gossip because they want to seem more informed they want to seem more important they want to seem more knowledgeable in actuality like you seem like an asshole (laughs) and it's just crazy to think how some people just don't you know, really realize that. But I was able to find some fun facts for psychologytoday.com, the truth about gossip. There's always some truth into it. So research was able to report that females gossip significantly more than males. However, I feel like males still gossip as much because I'm sorry if it's in your genes and if it's in your DNA and if you see gossiping as correct, it doesn't matter if you're male or female or whatever you want to identify yourself with. I just feel like it's just in you, you know, whatever you want to claim to be. It's just you either do it or you don't point blank, period. It doesn't matter about race. It doesn't matter about like your color of your skin or what you choose to identify yourself. It just matters if you're a type of person that feels the need to make things seem more interesting because you're bored let's be honest and the second thing is gossip is considered to be only three categories you're either talking about positive gossip you're either talking about neutral thing neutral gossip and neutral gossip are just things that you're just observing it's not like positive it's not negative it's just you know neutral gossip are like the ones that people like to say let's watch people yeah, you know, those people like to say I'm in neutral gossiping, but in actuality, sometimes it can turn down to negative gossip. You know, sometimes people don't realize how fast things can get negative really, really fast. And I think that's where people need to realize that you shouldn't assume you shouldn't always assume. Yeah, sometimes assumptions are great. 
sometimes assumptions help you but at the same time i feel like assumptions can also harm you you know or just make you look like an ass <laughs> Um, another thing is younger people tend to gossip more than older people. And I think that's true because once you get to a certain age, you realize talking about another person doesn't benefit you. You know, talking about another human being doesn't give you more time in your day, doesn't give you more extra life, extra cool points, extra kudos, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't make you a better person. And when you're young and you're trying to be I want to make friends. I want to be part of this. I want to just have people like me. Well, when you're in that state, you wanting to have people like you, then you will be gossiping more because you feel like gossiping will make people like you. And in actuality, you will learn the hard way if you do that, that you should not be gossiping like that. It is not right. It gives you a bad rep. Nobody likes people with bad reps who gossip because it makes you untrustworthy. It makes you seem like a dishonest person. It makes you seem like a two-faced, you know? And um, people with higher incomes tend to gossip more neutrally than people with lower incomes. And last but not least, the average person spends 52 minutes per day gossiping. And I feel like with some people, it's probably more <laughs> because they have talk shows or they are just at home and they don't got nothing else to do they don't want to worry about their lives or you know some people just are so caught up with the world that they can't focus on themselves so they are gossiping all the time so we're just going to jump into the quotes and i got three quotes for you so the first quote is a lot of problems would disappear if we talk to each other instead of talk talking about each other you know and that is something that we need to take into consideration next misery loves company so if you are surrounded with drama gossip and fools you may want to consider that you are presently at risk of becoming one and i believe me when i say that's one thing that my family has always taught me and engraved to me when i was a little girl you are what you surround yourself by so be careful who you surround yourself by you know that's something that i've always heard since i was a little girl and it's exasperating However, it stuck with me, you know, so it made me realize that I didn't want to be friends with people. It made me realize that I didn't want to hang out with certain people. It made me realize that certain people are not worth your time, your energy, your your overall who you are as an individual because they're like leeches, you know. Don't hang around those leeches. Let's move on. <laughs> Last but not least, a healthy mind does not speak ill of others. And that is something that people really need to take into consideration is how healthy is your mind? You know, if you feel like you have a toxic mind yourself, well, then maybe what comes out of your mouth will also be toxic. Hmm. Well, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of my listeners. A little bit better. I just want to say thank you to all of my listeners. The reason why today um, this show is a little short is because I cut down the research part and I just want to keep it a little bit shorter. I realized that my podcast have been extending its time to almost 20 minutes and I'm just like that's a lot <laughs> for me that's a lot of work for me you know because I'm doing a lot so I wanted to just cut it down a little bit more and so that y'all ain't hearing me ramble and I don't feel like I'm doing a lot of work <laughs> you know I'm just thinking about myself so you're welcome no I'm kidding I'm thinking about y'all as well because let's be honest sometimes I feel like I ramble and I don't want to like ramble, ramble, you know, <laughs> I want to have you guys think my point is to make you guys think not for you guys to just listen to me so you guys could zone out in your own thought like, mm, well, I guess that's not bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll think about it. Um, But I do want to just kind of try to like limit the shows to try to be under 15 minutes because I don't like to listen to podcasts that are over 15 minutes. So I don't want to do that to y'all like, no, I am putting myself in y'all shoes. So I just want to say thank you for anybody who's been coming back and listening to me some more. I'm sorry I have not been consistent. I have been just feeling really sick and I haven't been really self-motivated to 
keep up. It's been kind of hard. Um, but, 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 but I just want to say thank you for anyone who returning back and who are just curious thinkers. Um, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, if you have not already followed me on social media, go check it out. I just, and everybody who has recently, thank you again. You guys are so sweet. And if you guys not have already checked out Mr. Waters, go check it out. I'm going to be working on my next children's books shortly so hopefully you guys can um be in tune for that too and hopefully it comes out before the end of this year but that's the news that's the 411 so food for thoughts ignore those people who are always talking behind your back that is where they belong just behind your back so with that being said please y'all just keep thinking all right bye